When someone walks through the front door of the Hackney, I want them to feel a warm welcome, to feel like they're expected, uh, and then to be seated and uh, happy and comfortable. That's what Suzanne Sanders wants her customers to feel when they walk into this old bank building in downtown Washington. It now houses the restaurant she and her husband Nick own called The Hackney, which is her family name. It opened in 1922 as the first national bank. It housed other businesses on the upper two floors until the bank closed in 2006. The building sat empty and idle until the Sanders bought it in 2017. They had been living in England but wanted to return to Suzanne's hometown. We loved old buildings in England. We loved this old building. I knew that it would be, uh, you know, would be great for a restaurant and a hotel. I showed it to Nick and Nick came to see it and uh, we both sort of believed that it was a good building for that. It's a neoclassical steel and stone building finished with touches of marble and wood. And we really just wanted to just really bring out the features of the building. The hotel upstairs will come later, but the restaurant and bar on the renovated main floor opened in August 2018. The building was the Sanders' first find. Executive chef Jamie Davis was the second. And when we found him, we were so excited because of all he had done and his potential. Davis has a simple philosophy. Uh, keep it seasonal and just be honest with yourself. You know, what you can do, do it to the, do it to the best of your ability. Put your heart on a plate and hopefully it works out. Uh, I like to use very local ingredients. You can taste the freshness. Nothing's ever frozen. Top sellers include the Pamlico Sound shrimp and grits made with a carrot juice broth. We got some North Carolina bacon, some grits from South Carolina with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. The North Carolina rockfish is served atop local cabbage and ham hocks. So you get a little bit of everything. You get a little saltiness, you get a little savory, and the fresh fish, you can't beat it. The filet mignon is served with triple cooked chips and local greens. Our filet has been marinated for four days and sous vide for about an hour. Then we finish it off on a grill to order. The pheasant ravioli with fresh local butter and herbs is the restaurant's best seller can't beat it. We sell probably about 25 orders a night. And a favorite dessert is the traditional English toffee pudding. It has dates. It's freshly baked pretty much every day. A nice whiskey caramel to go with it. A nice whipped cream on top. Can't beat it. It's delicious. So in our case, we, we use uh, juniper and 21 other botanicals. Nick Sanders runs the Hackney Distillery next to the restaurant. Distilling gin started as a hobby and became a business. Gin in the rest of the world is what's driving the craft distilling industry. What gin is, is juniper, still with a neutral spirit, with as many other botanicals as you choose to, to put it. There's almost an infinite number of, of, of botanicals you can use to, to make different flavor profiles around the juniper flavor. We use uh, fresh grapefruit peel, fresh orange peel, we're using wonderful uh, root ginger and, and lemongrass. This gin is very flavorful. Um, it's got some nice aromas to it and it's even just uh, sipping it straight without mixing them with tonic or whatever, it's, it's enjoyable. I like it. This gin's roots may stretch to London, but its name is rooted right here in Beaufort County, 1,000 Piers. What's special about here is the, the interaction between the land and the water and the most visible representation of that is the pier and there's lots of them, so a thousand peers. Visiting the Hackney Distillery and Restaurant is all about the experience. It's very upscale, you, you feel special. It's like a, a, just a really nice um, night out. Suzanne Sanders sees this as a destination, not just a stop on the way to one. I lived in France where they used to take long lunches where the families would get together and all sit together and eat meals and really enjoy the meal together. That's what I've envisioned, is I wanted people to come in here, not feel rushed, just have that time together to talk. Um, I don't see a lot of cell phones in the restaurant, which is nice. It's really to feel like you've got all night if you, if you want to have all night.